Hi, it's Mike here, and I get asked loads and loads at the moment um, what I'm using for screen recording and why I'm using it. So the answer is really easy, and that is um, I've got my tribute to my uh, zoom.us tie because it's uh, blue and a whitey color, and this is why I use it. Now, the first reason is you can see top right, and that is that I'm screen sharing with you, and I am here. Hello. Um, that's one reason. Next reason is that by one single click, I'm now a lot, lot bigger. Here's the tie again. Whoa, right up there. And the third reason is I'm now gone and I can just devote completely to um, talking to you on a screen share. Now, the reason I'll just bring myself back in again and bring that down to, you know, use, use this properly. So in other words, I'm just in the corner. So in my Zoom directory, there are tons and tons of files. Now, another reason why Zoom is just so awesome for me personally and that is that each file, look at this down here, and I'm just going to spotlight this. Actually, just put an arrow on it, annotations. And that is that I can move Zoom, screen share, files, or video files around really, really quickly. Now, this is four megabytes, and for that, you're getting four minutes and 26 seconds on an MP4 at HD level 1440 by 812 pixels amazingly big and also that's now at about for me personally on my bandwidth 24 frames a second that's what my dslr does which is just brilliant so you also get the let me just go back to um showing you and that is you get screen computer audio sent to the the file so for an example here's one i've done earlier if i click play I'm still talking to you now. Now, this is a but great so little feature for audio sent in the Zoom. I'll meeting. tell you what it so is. This is a um, I have a Nikon. So I can take anything off the web, off my hard drive, my music, my whatever, and then send it directly into the Zoom meeting. That is another brilliant, brilliant thing. Um, I'm, by the way, dragging my desktop to um, 16 by 9 ratio, and that's what you're seeing. So what Zoom have done now is stuck a little bit bigger. They've snuck the, the video in the, as you're looking on the top right, and it's inside the 16 by 9. So once I get that MP4, I can upload it immediately to YouTube, and I don't have to worry about not getting the 16 by 9. That is another reason. Um, I can go on and on about the reasons, but I'm going to stop this video and then do another one. And this one is going to be sharing my whole desktop because it allows me literally to drag my picture in picture, my video around, which is really good because me as um, the teacher in me, I want to gesture and talk to you about things. Other places, I cannot do that. So if I come along and um, gesture, you're not going to see me because there is no video through the screen share. Hi, this is part two of the what I do uh, for screen sharing. Now, you can see that I'm using my whole desktop, uh, which is black, which is great because the moment I put graphics on it, uh, once I hit print screen, there's a black background. And this is what I want to show you. When you are, and here we go, I'm dragging around my video and I can make a big video and drag it about. I can take away the video and have just me here and I can bring it back again and the main thing is I can show you how he says uh, making the 16 by 9 screen share so for example sharing desktop using zoom.us you can drag your picture in picture wherever you want it to go hide it make it big make it small that's lovely now what I want to look at is if I was going to do the one I just did a couple of seconds ago in this video, then you'll see that I had a 16, 16 by 9. So let me show you how I did that. Now, here is a picture uh, that I took to do with a series to do on, with doing on the YouTube audio library. And what I'm going to do is make it, and you can see the whole thing. Now, there it is. Um, now, I have done my maths, and what I find with my maths is if I get my window on the... I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. And I can see where it says bin on the top there. If I just put that window just by the lower letter in just about there, that'll do. And then I bring it down to just above the start button there. And then I drag it over to the right-hand side, which sticks. 
that area that you're seeing, the window, is 16 by 9. So when I start to zoom, I start a screen share meeting, and then I size the main window that I'm going to work with, and I put it up here on the, let me just, just put a pen on that for you. Um, so we can have that area there, this area here, and this measures 1440 by about 810 pixels. And what you'll find is when that sizes itself out, it's 16 by 9, ideal for uploads to YouTube. What a great way to do it. So um, that is it pretty much for this. Uh, I can't um, not talk to people about the fantastic um, Picasso photo viewer. And that is, it's a, got a GUI, a GUI, which is a, or Zooey is it? Zooming user interface. So in other words, look at this, just like Google Maps. God, where are you? Where are you? Up to 100. And then it goes, it, it, you see the way it pours? Watch this. Up arrow, stop at 100. And then it will just, just go up to something crazy. Look at that, 4,500%. I really like that for the right occasion. And then using the left and right arrows, you can just uh, whiz through and look at different images on it. So the main thing is that I'm using my desktop and to end this one we can say here is my desktop. I've got a bunch of tools over there. If you haven't seen them already, we have got things like a highlighter. Okay, we've got a pen, just showed it to you with different colors. There's a yellow pen around. We've got arrows which we can just click around and we've got the spotlight which is probably my favorite. And then a regular mouse that comes in. I don't know if you can see that. Raise the lot. You've been watching Mike Downs on Zoom.us. Go and buy one today. Yeah.